everybody! This is the beginning of a new little series that I'm going to be doing on YouTube here. Um, there's a lot of brands that get a lot of play when it comes to new reviews and vlogs and haul videos and stuff like that. There's certain brands that people will always talk about as being, you know, the most popular. And they're popular for a reason. But I think that there are some other brands that do get overlooked sometimes. So in an effort to kind of shine a light on products that may be more affordable or, you know, just a different quality that you're looking for or in a different store that might be nearer to you, I'm going to do a little series on brands that we kind of sometimes overlook. So this is going to be my top five favorite dot, dot, dot. So it depends on whatever I'm talking about on that particular day. And today's top five favorite will be CoverGirl. Okay, my number five item on this list would be the Queen Collection lipsticks. CoverGirl had created a brand within their brand, the Queen Collection, which specializes in makeup for brown skin, brown skin ladies like us. So um, Queen Latifah helms the collection and, and is kind of the official face of the Queen Collection, and these are colors that work for her skin tone as well as skin tones that are much deeper or lighter or just the whole spectrum of brown beauty. The Queen Collection is awesome. And I have to say, their lipsticks, I think a lot of people sleep on their lipsticks. They're just a really good quality, moisturizing, um, it's a brand that lasts and a brand that has really great colors for our skin tone. So what I'm wearing right now is actually Shiny Cocoa Bean, which is one of my favorites. Look, I've sampled it on my hand right here so you can see the difference in the color. On my hand, it doesn't look even as rich or as fun as it turns out to be when you put it on. It kind of works with the natural highlights of your lips and your natural colors of your lips, and, and I absolutely love this color. I wear it all the time. You would think by looking at it in the tube that it might be too dark for you. If you're afraid of dark, which I'm not, but I mean it looks like it could be a little dark. When you try it on, especially if you've got beautiful, rich, brown skin, this color is going to really surprise you, and there's some really, really great colors in the Queen Collection in general. So. They are totally worth checking out next time you're in your local drugstore or Target or Walmart beauty section. Just swing by the Queen Collection and try a couple of the lipsticks out and see what you think because the ones that I've tried have all been really, really great. Number four, that would be the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Serum Primer. If you're in a hot climate or you're somewhere where, you know, you're going out and you want to look fabulous and you need your makeup to last for like hours and make sure you look a certain way in pictures and stuff like that, I am a big believer in primers. Um, and this is a really good one. It's a drugstore brand primer combining two of the most well-known, well-loved drugstore brands. And it really works. It does not clog your pores and it really makes my makeup stay on when it's hot and sweaty and nasty and humid outside. I put that on, I put on my powder and my foundation, um, and then I spray my face with my, my skin finisher, and my face will last for hours. And I just actually wore this product to a wedding that I went to over the weekend, and I looked good into the later hours of the day, which I was very happy to do because we were taking pictures all day long. So CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Serum Primer, number four. Okay, so item number three on my list. This is from the Queen Collection. And I'm going to just highlight really quickly. The Queen Collection has great foundations and bronzers and pressed powders for brown skin. How do I know this? I've tried a lot of them out myself. And also makeup artists like Sam Fine and people who, you know, do makeup behind the scenes for magazines that are meant for us use these products on models. Um, Sam Fine swears by the Queen Collection bronzer. He talks about it all the time, and it's really good stuff. This is the pressed powder, and I do take it with me when I go out. I'm a big fan of having a pressed powder compact in my purse at all times, and this color is light bronze too. It's a little light, but it kind of gives me a translucent effect almost. It's not like it washes me out. It just kind of absorbs the oil, helps to blend my makeup in, 
and helps to make my look last and helps me to not be shiny, which is extremely important to me because I am a shiny girl and I try not to be whenever possible. So, big fan of the pressed powders. Definitely don't sleep on the Queen Collection as a whole. There's a lot of stuff in there that I think doesn't get as much shine as some of their other products that you see a lot, a lot of ads for all the time. And we're going to get to a couple of those right now. Item number two on my CoverGirl collection would be the famous Lash Glass Mascaras. There are a reason that these are so popular. They actually work. They're pretty awesome. I don't know if you can tell. I'll try to come up a little closer, but I am wearing Lash Glass right now. I'm wearing this one, Lash Glass Fusion. As a person who loves purple, this tube appealed to me the second I saw it come out on the market. And it's just a really good... Um, mascara for everyday use. It gives you that impact and it doesn't make your eyelids feel all like, you know, you've put a whole bunch of heavy, heavy stuff on it. It's just a really high quality. And also the Lash Flash Lutes or Lux or however you want to say that, those are really good and they tend to have like different pigments to them so you can get a really subtle pop of blue or a subtle platinum sheen to your, your lashes or um, even a subtle blue if that's what you're going for. So I really do like Lash Blast mascaras. They're just a good quality product. If you're looking for a drugstore mascara, it's definitely one of the best that you can buy. So highly recommend those. And last but absolutely not least, number one on my CoverGirl favorite makeup collection list are the Liquiline Blash Blast <laughs> Eyeliners. So let me hold those up for you. They're so great. Oh my god. Right now I'm wearing blue. I think it's called Blue Boom or something like that. I don't see the color on here. But yes, this is what I'm wearing right now. Every single time I wear these eyeliners, I get crazy compliments from people who think that I'm wearing some super high-end expensive pigment thing. And it's such an easy look to do. And they come in such great colors and they actually do make an impact on your skin because that's a concern for me as a woman of color. Sometimes you buy a pencil and it's expensive and it just doesn't have the color payoff that you expect it to have. And you're like, why did I spend my money on this? These pencils, first of all, they're not that expensive. And second of all, they actually do have the color pigment. So this is the like super acid green that... I love this color on my skin. I absolutely love this color on my skin. It, it might look crazy on you depending on your style and depending on your skin tone, but on my skin color and skin colors that tend to be darker than, that are darker than mine, I think that colors like this pop and they make us look so beautiful. So let me just show you what it looks like when I draw it on my hand. Can you see that? Yeah. And the more you layer it on, is the more it just kind of picks up light. And it's just such a pretty color. I really, really like it. The blue, that's like my go-to. Blue, I don't know if you guys know this, but blue eyeshadow or eye makeup and brown eyes, brown skin, winning combination. Like, it's just, it's a no-brainer. And I think some people get kind of scared, oh, I'm going to look like, Mimi from the Drew Carey show or something, but no, actually blue eyeshadow looks really, really good on, on brown skin. So that's the blue. Bam. Love that. The purple is a little bit more of an eggplant than I would like it to be. I like more of a true, like, grape, you know, that really, really stands out, but it's still really pretty. And for fall, that's the kind of, like, subtle different color that's going to bring out your beauty in a different way. It's perfect for fall. Big, 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 big fan of the Liquiline Blast eye pencils. I, I actually hope that they don't stop at five. I hope that they come out with more colors, and I hope that it's something that lasts in their collection because I think it is a high-quality pencil. You can, I mean, I try pencils from high-end department stores and drug stores. I think that these stand up to some of the higher end department store brands that I have tried in terms of like highly pigmented eyeliners. So I definitely recommend it. It's a good place to save money if you're looking to, to me, if I'm spending money on makeup, I'm going to spend money on a high quality foundation and maybe save money on something like an eyeliner. 
So CoverGirl eyeliners is a great way to get more bang for your buck. And the colors are awesome. I mean, look at that. Can you see those? Uh, so those are my top five picks. Those are my favorite five CoverGirl products right now. Um, they're all available at your local drugstore or online at drugstore.com. And I'm going to make sure and add like those little bubbles to let you know prices and where you can get them and all that stuff. And I'd love to hear from you. What are your top five favorite CoverGirl products if you do have top five favorites? I would like to hear what your thoughts are um, and what maybe I haven't tried yet. So I'm always looking for something new. That's why I'm a product junkie. <laughs> so I hope you like this video and look forward to more of these. I'm going to be doing more of my top five favorite whatever I feel like. So thank you guys for watching and supporting what I do. I really, really appreciate you. And until the next time, bye.